think we got to the weather animation just in time. Just, just in, in time. time. <laughs> Look good, though. Aye, aye, aye. It sure did. Sharif won't pass up much food. Uh, yeah, so we see. Uh, so, Margaret, we pulled out the umbrellas earlier today. How long do we need to keep them nearby? Uh, through Friday. Oh, but I, not on Saturday. No, I think Saturday is looking okay. Now, you know, tonight it's not bad. Right. I think tomorrow afternoon and then Thursday afternoon. So let me show you what's happening. We've got a weak front in the area and it's going to kind of go back and forth across the area. Look to the east. The little upper level disturbance we had south of the coast last night has now moved over into Florida. That's where they've had some issues. Lots of storm uh, reports there. Then we can look to the west. This is where we've got a severe thunderstorm watch. I can see some warnings in here. You can see all of those storm icons. So here's the deal. Some of that moisture is going to begin to move our way. In fact, what we can do is look at our water vapor imagery. We still have that upper level low. We still have these areas of disturbed weather moving our way. But if you look carefully, as this one moves our way, it kind of diminishes. It's running into some drier air, believe it or not, from all of the rain that we've already had. So we can zoom into southeast Louisiana. There's that little bit of cloudiness to our west. We've had some clouds across the area, some mist right along the coast. And in fact, I think we're going to have fog in the morning. Here is a look at where we had all of that heavy rain. Flash flood warnings were issued for Harrison County. That's where they had four to five inches of rain. Now tomorrow, a marginal risk for severe storms, a little bit west of the city. Then as you look at Thursday, it's a marginal risk for more of the area. But I got to tell you, we didn't even have a marginal risk for severe storms along the Mississippi Gulf Coast today, and we had all of that weather. We can look at our rainfall totals, and it's obvious where you're seeing this darker green, up to five inches of rain. Three inches of rain on portions of the North Shore, southwest of the city, four inches of rain. That was all Doppler indicated. But Gulfport, right over the bucket, over four inches. Hammond, three and a third. Gonzales, two and a third. Slidell, over two inches. The lakefront, almost two inches of rain. So we got plenty of rain. Here is a look at the front. It kind of sinks to the south and this model not really indicating a big chance of rain for tomorrow. The models are actually from 20 to 50 percent. I'm going with a 40 percent chance because we're going to have this moisture moving our way. Then we can look into your Thursday. The front kind of comes back into play with rain chances, especially as you go into the afternoon. High temperatures mid 80s. Then we get this little low moving our way and right now Friday is not looking pretty. Just want you to know, plan your indoor activities, not outside activities. It is not looking nice. High temperatures, low 80s. Hey, this is big. You can go to the Lakefront Airport and see the Air Force C-130 tomorrow afternoon from 2.30 until 5. This is the awareness tour, getting you ready for the hurricane season. You can meet the pilots who fly the Hurricane Hunter. You get to tour the plane and View the NOAA Gulf Stream 4, which samples the atmosphere around storms. So today, of course, all of that rain. So sure, look at this. This is a yard and it's flooded. Anthony Pollard sent it in. And Kenny, what an amazing sky. Another one from Susan Nye and Oak Harbor and Nola Spice Design says, look up at that moon. The high today was 83 and I think we're going to be in the mid 80s tomorrow. So as you look at the forecast, the better chance of rain will be be in the afternoon, a high of about 85, fog in the morning. Thursday, rain chances in the afternoon. Friday is looking like a really not pretty day. It's going to rain. But Saturday and Sunday, the weather improves. In fact, the first of next week, it's looking nice too, and it's warming up. High temperatures climb into the upper 80s.